What's up? Something's not right about that guy. Why, just because he keeps threatening to kill me in the middle of a police precinct? Uh, grow up. Because I'm physically attracted to him. And that's bad? I'm only attracted to creeps. The vulture, the ShamWow guy. When I was a kid, I had a major crush on the evil gremlin. Stripe? Are you crazy? Yeah, well, I'm not gonna bone gizmo. I would. I'm fine at parties. I just stand in the middle of the room and don't say anything. You don't even like your parents. You call them smiley morons and hug freaks. Plans are plans. I'm a badass, not an anarchist. Have you ever been dumped? No. In all my breakups, I'm always a dumper. I know you're having a hard time, but I think I can fix this. There's this thing that I do whenever I feel. What? Burn everything. I love my desk buddy. Sometimes Detective Kearns and I leave presents for each other. Yeah, well, Low Hank's a stubble monkey. I hate him and his face garbage. Why don't you just tell him to stop shaving at his desk? He denies even doing it. I don't know why. Next time I catch him shaving, I'm gonna punch him so hard in the mouth he bites his own heart. Rosa, I need you to work out with Holt for the next half hour, cool? Uh... Great, I'll get your sneakers. This is invigorating, isn't it? Uh... We don't want anyone getting alcohol poisoning, so if you throw up, you're disqualified. I never throw up. I just want my stomach to deal with it. My body is terrified of me. So, I texted Marcus and he hasn't texted me back. Can't believe I'm asking this, but can you help me? Oh, Rosa, yes. I am the perfect person for this job. Okay, let's get busy. What was his initial text? Can't believe I missed you this much after three hours, XO. XO, girl, marry him. We'll be right back. Ha ha the lame. It's a joke, I was insulting him. You know, flirting. You think he's mad? I bet he's heartbroken. No, no, we can fix this. We just have to write a very sweet, very heartfelt text that will jumpstart the conversation. Hey, baby. I don't call people baby. You do now. Joining us for lunch, sir? Oh, no, I've already consumed the required calories for this day period. Yummy. Oh, nothing better after a long shift than coming to Shaw's. It's like Cheers, where everybody knows your name. The place where everybody knows your name is hell. You're describing hell. Today, we're gonna work on our courtroom demeanor. Pass. The seminar is not optional, Diaz. You're testifying in an aggravated assault case tomorrow. The DA is worried about how you present yourself on the stand. Why? I'm fine on the stand. Look, I'll make this real simple so even these dum-dums can understand. Man did crime. I'm sorry, can you make her stop doing that weird thing with her face? Crime? And when this is over, I'm gonna find you and I'm gonna break those little fingers. Miss Diaz, please stop threatening the stenographer. This is an important case. You need to do well. Fine, I'll take your dumbass seminar. Oh, I get it. I'd abandon me too. That's it, boil. No more eggs. You are drinking your troubles away. Start with this. Something I'd like to say. I'm a pretty private person, so this is kind of hard for me, but here we go. I'm bisexual. All right, I will now field one minute and zero seconds of questions pertaining to this. Go, Amy. How long have you known? Since seventh grade. I was watching Saved by the Bell and I thought, Zach Morris is hot. And then I thought, Lisa Turtle. Also hot. The fact that the words Kelly and Kapowski didn't just come out of your mouth is lunacy. What made you decide to tell us now? Charles found out on the road trip, and I was positive he was not going to be able to keep the secret for much longer. Bye, Rosa. I mean, not bye, but bye. I mean, see ya. I mean, have fun only having sex with men, just banging dudes left and right. I just stopped saying bye altogether. So are you seeing anyone now? Yeah, her name's Tiffany. Are you lying about her name so we won't look her up? Yes, I am. Next. Do you know Anne Heche? I do. Ooh. I must say, this is going considerably better than when I came out to my colleagues. They were not, as the kids say, awake. Do you mean woke? I did mean woke, but it's grammatically incoherent. Okay, we have time for one more question. No! Oh. Nope, absolutely not. We're done. Smart. It was not tasteful. I'm gonna wait till I'm on my deathbed, get in the last word, and then die immediately. That's your plan for dealing with this? That's my plan for dealing with everything. I have 77 arguments, I'm gonna win that way. Seems like a bad plan. Now I have 78. Hey, so I told Captain Holt I'd work on Saturday. Wait, why? You won fair and square. I mean, I murdered you, that was pretty shady. Also, it was crazy assertive, and I feel like maybe I don't actually need power pose training. You don't, mostly because nobody needs power pose training. The dinner with my parents on Saturday is to introduce him to Marcus. What? Why didn't you just tell me? I didn't know stuff was getting that serious. Yeah, it's very embarrassing having feelings. Anyway, thank you. You're welcome. Ruth is in love. <laughs> Power pose. Adrian Pimento was very special to me. 
and now he's gone. And I'm starting to realize there's nothing I can do to bring him back. I guess life is just gonna suck for a while. But it's nice to know there's a room full of people who it sucks for too. I'd also like to add, the next person who hugs me gets their neck snapped. And she's back. Jake and Emmy are engaged. That's okay. What? You understand. Love is complicated. Wait, why would you be okay with that? Me though, when you called this dinner, you were so nervous, we were worried you were gonna tell us you were gay. So you would rather me be some dude's mistress than be in a loving relationship with a woman? Well, Jake and I aren't dating, but guess what? Your worst fears are real. I'm not straight, I'm bisexual. And I don't care what you think about it. Screw this, I'm out of here. You must be Captain Holt. Mm. Hey. Hey. Uh, can you give us a second, baby? Yeah, I'll wait out there. Pleasure to meet you, Captain. Mm -hmm. So, this is Jocelyn. I'm glad you got to meet her. For the record, I wasn't keeping her from you because I was afraid you were gonna hurt her feelings by being judgy. I think it's hilarious when you're judgy. It's because I was afraid you weren't gonna like her. You and I are close, and I... I value your opinion. Well, she seems great in our limited interaction. Maybe you could get to know her better over Kevin's rice this weekend. That would be great. You might want to save your girlfriend. She's talking to Hitchcock. Damn it! Hitchcock! NYPD, get down on the comfortable matted floor. Put your magical hands where we can see them. You're under arrest for ruining something perfect. And money laundering. Yes, money laundering, whatever. My choice has nothing to do with you. It was the hardest thing I've ever done. I gave up my career, my friends, my whole life, but I did it because I couldn't ignore what I was a part of anymore. Couldn't ignore what the police are doing in my community to people who look like me. I know, but not all of them, not me. This isn't about you. Hey, sorry I'm late. The coffee guy was... Assaulting your head? What is going on up there? Is it bad? Before I answer that question, do you currently have a knife on you? Yeah, several. Then I love it. It really is hair. It's bad, Rosa. You look like Edna from The Incredibles. I'm sorry, don't stab me. <sighs> My girlfriend Jocelyn's been practicing a bunch of different hairstyles on me. She's in cosmetology school. Is she... Passing? Honestly, I don't know. Hey, I need to write Marcus back fast. He's already freaked out by how long it takes me to text him back. Listen, Rosa, there's nothing I'd rather do in my life than write a sexy text to your boyfriend. But I think this is something you gotta do on your own. Why? You're so good at being lame and I'm not. Yeah. Look, I like him. I really like him. I don't wanna screw this crap up. That's what you should say. Just take that sentiment, remove the word crap, and then send it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ugh, I sent it. He didn't write back, so he hates it. No, wait, look. Okay. Oh, okay. Dot, dot, dot. It's happening. It's a shirtless pic. We did it. We did it. Thanks, <sighs> Will. Okay, I'm gonna leave. Don't follow me. Things are about to get intense. Oh, makes sense. Hey, we should go fly fishing sometime. That's never gonna happen. We need to sober you up and get you back out there. Coffee and carbs usually work, so here's what we're gonna do. That was a misdirection. Carbs never work. Slapping's the only way. Oh, I think it worked. And I just want to say, what makes Christy and the Snob so good is the Snob. Their names are Tiffany and Shannon, and they laugh at Louis. Yes, you did it. They found them guilty on all charges. Huh. Well, his advice worked. <laughs> so, where is your happy place? I'm in a cabin in the middle of nowhere. Inside, it's just me and that stupid, slimy defense attorney. And I'm beating the hell out of him. I break a dining room table over his head. Then I rip off his arm and shove it where the sun don't shine. Then I reach down his throat and shake his hand. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and schedule you for a psyche vow. While wearing a wedding dress, you leapt over a couch, sprinted down an alley, and jumped off a car to subdue the crap out of a perp like you were Wonder Woman. Was well, pretty cool, wasn't it? Amy. You are an amazing cop and a great leader, and you have proven that a billion times over. You can't let other people's opinions get in the way of what you want, especially because other people suck. I know what you're trying to do. You brought him in here to butter him up. Yeah, and I've been laying it on real thick. Mint? Okay, but you're making a big mistake. Nobody sucks up like a boil. Of course, you knew that already because you're so smart. I just did it to you. Ugh. Fine, little man. Bring it. Okay. 
Looks like you and I are in a good old-fashioned suck-off. Don't call it a suck-off. Why not? Why shouldn't... Oh, yeah, 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 totally, yep. Mm -hmm. Right, smart, good. You said there's nothing you can do to bring him back, but you're wrong. None of us are gonna stop fighting until he comes home. Thanks. And if you ever need to talk or get drunk or throw stuff off a roof, I mean... I, I don't know your process. Am I hitting on anything here? The roof thing sounds pretty good. Very well, let's throw something off the roof and then we'll get back to work. High five. I quite like them now. Rosa, what the hell are you doing? What? You were the one that said that. That was before the bell went missing, when life was breezy.